Don't take them lightly, though, because remember, we've lost two liberation rights as much as we've won two. Hey, it's a buddy! It's a howler. I don't like howlers. Get away. Oh, that's different. What do you, what do you take? Yep, we are going to only land at the Temple High Road or the Temple Cistern. We're skipping Emperor's Fall and Emperor's Ascent because they're a little uh, barren. We'll we'll put it lightly. So, do we want to go to the Cistern to get Sir Gilman some favor or Volfred? Either one's good with me, you know. That's that's two people saying Volfred, so we're doing it. Here. Let's speak with Joe Muir. He looks calm and collected on the outside, but even he's a little shaken by what's going down right now. Also, plus two presence on Volbert is pretty dang good. Okay, uh, you all know the drill. Forage, study, mentor. Go. Oh. Alright, I'm seeing someone say go mentor, and I'm seeing someone say we should mentor Volfrid. He will just barely fall shy of hitting rank 4, though. We can still do it just so he gets closer to enlightenment and therefore freedom, but he's not going to gain a rank, I think. So close. You can't see it because of his head. But 40 points. He participates in one more right, win or lose, he's getting a mastery. Oh yeah, Pamatha will absolutely help us on the top side. Because now that her sister's gone, she's totally on board with the plan and has no reservations about being down here or up there or anything. Although she's still, you know... She still is something with her sister. <laughs> we don't need another reminder. Alright, all of that, we've all been here before. And of course, this depends on Pamatha actually being eligible. She may not be, remember, because they scale up the enlightenment requirements as you go through the game. Let's see, uh, we did get money? We did get money. Uh, Dude. What do you think? Should we... Should he go for a sale? Do you think we should have him go for a sale? Because business has been a little slow. Not super slow, but enough that he's considering doing a sale. Could spice things up. But on the other hand... He makes some pretty good stuff. Maybe we... Maybe he shouldn't, like, try to undercut it. Also, for those of you at home, I think this guy here is Falcon Ron. This guy is Dad. I don't know who this is. They are a mystery and an enigma and a slug. He'll think about it. It's not the kind of decision you can make on the fly, you know? Uh, the shooting star is ridiculous. Look at all these things we don't have the money for. I'll tell you what, though, I will pick up a little bit of stardust. Thank you. Thank you, good sir. 
Oh, he is adorable. He is just so adorable. Alright, uh, let's look at everyone's stuff. Uh, Gold's Bracer. Black Claw. To be honest, I'm not feeling the Black Claw. It was a good idea at first, but I think that her having her aura is a better thing. So I'm switching her to what have we got. I think you get the Burning Promise. And can we boost it? We cannot. But I do think she needs the Burning Promise just so we have a bit more income. Hmm. Can't boost that. Could boost this thing to get even more Pyre health. We have nothing better to do. This tail is broken. Gold's Bracer is... Eh. What else can I give you? Oh, I still have the Kerfang! You know what? There we go, I'm happy. Alright, let's do this! Yeah, no pressure, right? So, if we weren't in the downside and we were in the Commonwealth, what would we do with ourselves? Perhaps tend the lamb? Tend the land? Not the lamb, maybe the lamb. And just be a simple farmer? Maybe sail the seas, go beyond the Commonwealth and see what there is to see? Just retire to the outskirts and be where it's quiet and we don't have to do anything? Or. Same thing we're already doing. Fight for freedom. Make sure the Commonwealth is in a better state when we leave it than when we got here. What do you guys think? Really, like, this is the only answer, honestly. Although when I played this, I said I wanted to sail the seas. But I can totally see this being a good answer, too. And hey, we're still on the plan. We're nearly at 60%. I think we can do this. Ah, once more with this. Do we want to give the dissidents any kind of advantage on this one? Or are we saying, no, that screwed us over last time, where we had Dolness the Locket available? No holds barred, go at it full ham. Just so many no's on enabling any of these things. We need to win. And we need to figure out who's going to get their freedom. But no pressure! <laughs> the stars that yet remain aflame align once more over the sacred fall of Solium. It was here that the eight scribes ordained the glorious tradition in which you now participate. The glorious tradition which you and that instigator, Wolfred, seek to undermine. This tradition sucks and you suck! In serious hope, your adversaries in this liberation rite achieve instead what they desire. Ain't no one asking May you. May the dissidents soon douse those flames Get of yours. Get down! Let us get on with the proceedings then. Okay, bye. The favorite part of this rite is how we're gonna listen to them instead of that jerk. Because they have a song to sing. And we also have to see these guys again. He's got a point. I don't give a bother for your sacred mountain, so you take it and you shove it. Ah, I like this guy. Bring it on. No 
Salas. Teronte Aligaratus. Varese Brahma. Pelanta Seres. Okay, let's do this. Whom do you endeavor to return? Alright, so, uh, as before, our choices are Hedwin, Shay, and Sir Gilman. So sorry, Pamitha, you didn't quite make the cut. I did Tizo. And not only is it Hedwin, we're gonna give him a little something something before we go. That something something is. <laughs> Star Serum. We got you this Who time, buddy. Who shall be at his side? Uh, we can choose from literally anybody. And I will, of course, give them all the drugs. Because last time he only gave them two drugs and it wasn't enough. We need more drugs. Kids. P team you can do. Well, considering that we're facing a bunch of curs, which, hey, let's have a look at these guys. We never actually found out his uh, crime. Sorry, I'm gonna tell you his crime now because uh, he did a lot of hell raising back there on uh, the top side of the Commonwealth, but the thing that actually got him in trouble was public indecency. I wish to say public urination on the statue of Arch Justice Andropolis the Ninth. That's why he's down here. That is literally the reason. Also, um. These guys are nuts. These guys are just nuts. Uh, he has the scribe rock, so he has plus 12 presence, because that's normal for that. And they don't get banished at the jump in it. These guys are going to just run at us at top speed. Uh, I'm seeing basically everyone say go with Pamitha and Vulprid, and who might have disagreed? Pamitha. Pamitha. You need a bit of presence. And Wolfred, Wolfred, would you like would you like this uh, beverage? This fine, tasty beverage. Go, let's go, let's go! Already really intense. This is mine. You don't get it. Oh dear. This is mine. This is mine, son, and you don't get- oh, 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 Okay, okay. I'm awesome! Oh, these guys. These guys are in it absolutely to win it. <laughs> I don't know what happened there, but I'm happy it worked. The Jukes! Yeah. 
Nope. Here. Here, here, here. Shoot me. Shoot me. Oh, I was hoping they would hit the sapling. Oh, well. Yes! Show me your moves. I should have just flown in. What am I doing? Oh, 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 yeah, yeah, no. Because remember, they all get something weird during the rights. The dissidents have a low gravity orb. Allow me to demonstrate. Oh, that wasn't actually low gravity. That was just a perfect throw. Sorry, let me have Hedwig run in and demonstrate. Yeah, you can tell there, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. And there it is, at last. You can tell, though, it's low gravity, right? Also, we win! Proved their worth. Their adversaries, they defeated... Sorry, dissidents. I would have been okay with you going free instead of with the build up, but... ends the liberation right. So it goes, I guess. You did your best. The scribes have chosen the exile appointed by the Nightwings shall be free. Ah, you can Absolve cure the, the Sultan with deeds. Return to glory in the Commonwealth. Hey, Cosmo. His adversary and all others shall remain to carry out their rightful sentences. I don't actually think Pamatha being OP was that huge of a factor, but it kind of was, let's be real. And yeah, Barker doesn't actually care that he didn't go free, he just wanted to deny someone else a chance. He, he wanted us to go free too. I don't think he knows that we can't go free. But he's going to meet his girlfriend again, so there's that at least. That's the spirit. Edwin earned back his freedom. May he return in glory. Godspeed, Edwin. Perhaps the scribes are watching even now. I don't think we found out his crime either. No, we didn't find out his crime either. The tradition draws to a close. And we are almost certainly going to be able to free Pam at the next we try this. Alright, we have so many choices available for Volfer now. Let's have a look. Sturdy Sapling. A uh, sapling spawns faster than usual and has a larger aura, very nice. Uh, after casting Sprout, he may remotely detonate his sapling with his salute. Uh, his shield ability shields his allies as well. We haven't had much cause to use this, but this could be really powerful just to keep them from sniping our guys on the back lane. And plus five hope. He just has faster respawn. That's literally it. Also, if you're wondering what the capstone abilities are, there's, uh... While Volpert and his allies are banished, adversaries are slowed and cannot use abilities. Or there is, uh, a stacking of this ability, or once per right, if our pyre is extinguished. Nah, it's back at 50 health. The stacks with the one we already have that says, nah, it's back, but at 10 health, so... If you want to work towards one of those masteries, consider that. Otherwise, what's it gonna be? Something else they want to chip in. Unstable sapling it is. Now, take your execrable companion someplace else. Dude, there's only one execrable person here, and we all know who it is, and it's none of us. You feel me, bruh? Don't feel me. Don't touch me. You aren't allowed in my house. My 
Hashem Pesach. Just as I was getting to like him. Alright. We got no time to waste. We got no time. We got very few stars left. Our next destinations could be the Hulk of Ores, the Spring of Jomur, or the Ridge of Gol. Uh, wow, the Chastity are actually winning. We really can't have that. Also, uh, we have one right left to the next liberation. Plan's success rate is now 65%. The dissidents have faced tank. The fate actually gained a point! Good for you guys! <laughs> I'm delighted by this. Okay, let's actually see who our possible opponents are. Uh, we could meet the fate one last time. They have no shot at being free again, but it's always nice to see them. Uh, basically the same deal with the tempers, but without it being nice to see them. Or we can throw a match against the Pyre Hearts and hope that they can uh, get past the Chastity, but that's... Well, it's not that unlikely. If we throw a match to the Pyre Hearts, we might actually face them on the Liberation right. but if we don't, it's almost certainly going to be the Chastity. We can't face the Chastity right now, There, there's no option to do so. If you really want to make it so that we do not face the Chastity and the Liberation right, we should go to the Pyre Hearts and lose to them. This is how you'd make it so the Chastity does not get to Liberation right. Or we could let them have the Liberation right and dunk them thoroughly and utterly there. And instead just spend our time just saying hi to the fate, you know, have a nice, no pressure friendly match, maybe Shay and Almer can see each other again, you know, that sort of thing. No one is looking at these jerks, just just don't even look in that direction. Other fates. And we're at the Hulk of Ores, I love this. Turn on every one of them. <laughs> we will lose if we do that. What do we got? Hey, Volpred. How you doing? A somewhat desperate plan. 65% now, it's only been rising. I feel you there. They're gonna feed him. I'm sure he'll find his friend again. What else you got for us? More about the dissidents. Formed by a howl of the swallow. Those who do not belong, belong. That's right. Barker Ashpaws and his crew they are totally adhering to the tenets of the dissidents to the best of their ability. Stick that new pipe and smoke it. The book cannot come with you if you are freed, but you can totally teach everything about it. Beware of those who would dare to read it on the other side. Other guys who seek wisdom may yet lurk a much darker desire to undo that which we strive to do. I don't know what you're talking about. I, I actually don't know, like, oh wait, one last thing. One last very important thing. Edwin's cooking tins. Someone's gonna have to pick up the cooking. <laughs> Fixing something with Tizo, Ruki, Dariel. Alright, let's do this. We literally just have time to bounce down there and come back for one more right. We might actually be able to get two liberation rights in one stream. Wouldn't that be wacky? 
I guess we'll see.